So education is freedom. Education is light and liberty. Education is the uplifting of the human soul to the glorious light of truth. You all represent the best and brightest of our state, and we're expecting some really great things, and I hope that this is the beginning of that journey for you. Right now I'm interested in architecture, science, math, I love that. I'm looking into research. I'm interested in majoring in biochemistry and doing something related to a pre-medicine track. I'm majoring in coastal engineering. I kind of want to be a medical illustrator. Um, entomology and nematology. There's a transformative power to education um, that it not only is about you know, gaining the knowledge, but it's about that it will transform you through your life. Something in the medical field. Cardio-oncology. Molecular biology, genetics. Neuroscience. Biomedical engineering. Our hope for you is that you get to meet some peers just like you, participate in some problem-solving real-world opportunities, but most importantly, make some connections and some lifelong friends. These students are going to go on to solve some of the biggest challenges that our world has, and it's exciting to see them all come together and really work with one another to solve them. Sunshine State scholars are prepared academically to hit the ground running right away. They don't go into what we call academic culture shock. They always have really good questions and they kind of know exactly what they want to ask when they come up to the table. You can already see that that skill level is only going to continue to grow and that's going to be a great benefit for our state. Florida is facing some very real challenges and we wanted you to think about some of the challenges that as you go on your successful paths and lives that you may find yourself working on one day. And we're very excited to put some of these challenges in front of you. That was encouraging to hear kind of the next generation coming up thinking about how do we solve the energy crisis? How do we solve climate change? What about red tides? I mean, it was in septic tanks. I mean, it was really interesting to see the, the, the topics and the level of, of interest that they had. Having these students stay here and bolster our economy in all of the ways the, um, is really just invaluable. In one word, wow. The bright minds that are in that room and the energy um, gives me hope and hope in our future because um, they are already solving the problems that we have now and, and they're working on the problems of the future. The ability to critically think and problem solve uh, with a group of people to be able to apply that to any real life situation um, when presented with a new problem and a difficult task is what I'm going to take away most from this experience. We have to network in life, so we have to bring in the science, technology, engineering, arts, and math to create a STEAM environment in order for us to solve the problems for tomorrow. Our children have a lot more opportunity here than the children up north as far as attractor programs, programs like Bright Futures, everything that is going on with dole enrollment. They'll be able to think outside the box like we can't, so I know it's cliche, but they really are the future. The investment that these students are making in their own futures is going to help them figure out um, how to be successful in life. How are they going to come back and contribute to their communities and help use their education to uh, be part of the economic engine in the communities that they live in. They are some smart kids. Um, they had a lot of great questions um, about internships, so they weren't just thinking about their education right after high school or I'm going to get my degree and then that's it. No, they had questions about, well, what can I do with that degree? We're giving them a broader perspective. We're having them think about costs. Who, where's the money going to come from? How are people going to pay for it? How are you going to get the message out? By working together with like people from different schools in different parts of Florida, we can all collaborate to come up with like a really good solution. And I think that teamwork was vital in um, helping um, solve the problem. I've learned about different ways that I can further my own um, career in STEM. Getting to be here and be surrounded by kids that are as passionate as I am and I get to like have like a common interest with them in STEM. It's really, it's really cool to be friends with them and be in a kind of be forced to be in a group together and we've, we've already become friends. So it's nice to come here and get to know more about what's involved like because in school they always preach like science, technology, engineering, and math but they never emphasize 
Like there's so much more to it than just those four things. And there's so many other jobs that you can apply to in those fields. Coming here, it gave me more of an opportunity to learn what the Florida school system had, um, what I could do with it, and it kind of gave me the confidence to know that I could make what I wanted here. I so look forward to what all of his potential can be. It's just amazing, and it, it does give you a lot of hope for the future, um, knowing that this they are our future. Woo!